All right, hello y'all, and this is Brushfire Wind Dragon. Welcome back to World of Warcraft. Uh, today we're going to do the uh, Blood Elf Heritage uh, quest line. Okay, let's see. The Pride of the Cinderai. Champion, I am here on behalf of Lord Thermar Theron and the city of Silvermoon. The Regent Lord asks for your assistance with a ceremony of great importance to our people. He requests your presence at the earliest convenience. So we gotta get to Silver Moon. We can get there from the uh that chamber beneath, uh, you know where all the portals are, yes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> are you watching a video or did Dad leave the TV on? Dad left the TV on. Ah. So we have I to go downstairs? Yeah, I think. Oh yeah, we got Celine C'est La Vie. I forgot how that was spelled when I moved over her over to this realm. And then uh, we got Tondra Song. In a few minutes. Thank you. Uh, uh, Magar. Uh... That Shatrath is not downstairs. <laughs> okay. The Silverman portal's got to be here somewhere. Dalaran. Jade Forest. Soldazar. Azuna. Um... That's Shadowlands, but I haven't gotten there yet. Uh, Dragonflight. Here we go, Silver Moon. And Elroden is practicing his magic on Arosaly, and she does not like it. I do love this room. Just all the books everywhere. Hey, it's antique. <laughs> <laughs> auntie is very tall, and she, uh, so I guess uh, she so she likes giraffes. Ah, <laughs> oh, Celine, just in time. Every year, we ask the champion of our people to f perform an act of remembrance in honor of those who fell to the scourge. Lady Leodrin uh, has performed this ritual, as have I. Ritual, as have I, among others. This year, I'm honored to give the task to you. The Regent Lord hands you an ornate lantern. This lantern carries a flame born of the Sunwell. I would ask that you bring it to locations that were significant to the fall of the Sunwell of Kelphilus, and to light the memories we cannot forget. The I will accompany you on your journey through the ghost land. Meet me in Tranquilia. Okay. Oh no. What is it, Rothmath? You said no. <laughs> he just shook his hand like no. <laughs> okay then. Too bad we can't fly here. This is true. Oh, the lantern is very glowy. That's nice. You see the ankle on your hip? Uh, the, the lantern on your hip? <laughs> the ankle. Oh, well, yeah, I see it now. <laughs> ankle. <laughs> I don't know what my mouth was thinking. <laughs> ankle. <laughs> Champion's light. <laughs> Thank you. Oh yeah, even though we can't fly here, we could still mount up. Yeah, I, I was, and then I thought maybe you didn't want to, so. <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> okay. There we go. <laughs> This is a very pretty place. It really is. I wish, I wish more people did stuff here. Yeah. I like Stormwind, mm -hmm. but it just doesn't have much personality. True. If that makes sense. Yeah. I guess it's because we can see brick buildings in real life. I guess. It's the human city. Yeah. What was that? <laughs> oh, it's messing with my mic. Oh, sorry. Okay. Oh, I, we can just fly there. Oh, gosh. Um, <laughs> Tranquillion. Yeah. It's just been a while. Well, it's like I've... Celine's never been here because she's a demon hunter. So I... Uh -huh. So she just automatically had these, and I didn't realize she did. I forgot. <laughs> yes. You can buy the map toys now, too. Okay. And those are um, account-wide. Because it's toy. Okay. Well, now that the Discord is coming in on its own channel, I can properly edit it out. Okay. <laughs> I greet you on behalf of Silver. This land will never recover from the damage that was done here, but we lost so much more than land that day. Long has the Southern Wall separated Kel'Thalas from the once great kingdom of Lordaeron. We do not believe that anyone could breach it. That overconfidence was our undoing. When the Scourge arrived, the gate was not conquered by force. It was willingly opened by a traitor. Though caught unaware, every first traitor, soldier, and magister in the area rushed to the defense of our homeland. Very few of them returned home. The gates now stand as a memorial in their name. What I do, I do for Quelthamas. Okay. Now we go to light the first flame. Come on! Mystic bird hat, jump off! <laughs> I feel like I lost an eight of something. And evidently your elite just gonna run underneath Theron. <laughs> Well, he can, he can move. Yes, he can. Oh, <laughs> I have run over a fence because, of course, I did. <laughs> so we have to go all the way to the front gate. Wow, that's a long way. Well, it's a long way when you're first playing because you have to hook. It. Yes. I just feel like this place was probably so beautiful before. Yeah. 
before the scourge. Oh, there's the lantern. Okay. To honor, in honor of those whose blood was shed to secure the survival of our people. Though the eternal sun may set on our darkest day, it rises again with the coming of the dawn. This is where the end began. My company was patrolling the forests near Zulaman when we received word of the Scourge invasion. We were wholly unprepared for what we encountered. Quoth, alas, had enjoyed years of idyllic peace. And suddenly, we were facing death itself. I lost my eye in that battle. I would have lost my life were it not for Haldoran. Haldoran. Words cannot describe the devastation our people suffered that day. That any of us survived to tell the tale was a miracle. One that we cannot afford to waste. The beauty of Eversong endures. And now to walk their path. Arthas cut through the land itself to get to the Sunwell. The dead scar is a constant reminder of that desecration. Where it starts is where our first line of defense attempted to hold the scourge at bay. It is where the first blood was spilled. It was a slaughter. Take the lantern to the base of the dead scar and use it to, its light to reveal the memories of what happened there. We find strength in the horn. Okay, so. <laughs> So Arthas was responsible for all of this? Because he became the Lich King. And, yeah. I am, I am so, like, not... I knew he was the Lich King, but I didn't know he was responsible for the devastation here. And you played the game more than I have. But, you know, the game doesn't always give you much of the lore. True. I'm wanting something real sweet, but yeah. I ate already. I shouldn't be hungry. And sometimes you just, you know, you want things. Okay, there's a gold outline. Same to, shame to sit on something so pretty. Cousin slow hands, what are you talking about? Fight the ghosts, okay. I need to get closer. It's been a while since I played this character. I forgot how I did my buttons. Yeah. I know this sounds odd, but I try to have a similar button set up on each character yeah. so that, like, my interrupts, no matter who it is, it's always on the same button. Yeah. My heal is always on the same button, like if I have a self-heal. Yeah, like I do half on the buttons and half with my mouse. Yeah. Okay. I am stunned. But, uh, we defeated everybody. Oh, there's Arthas. 
Enough, I will be delayed no longer by this pointless rabble. Monster, you'll never reach the Sunwell. The Ranger General will stop you. Ranger Velinara. Okay, let's go to turn the quest in. Hang on, I still have to light the second memorial flame. Ah. So here I was fighting undead and you weren't even on the quest. Oh, I... Yeah, I was. I was fighting the undead. Okay, but, um... We have made many sacrifices. Okay, because fighting the undead was part of the quest. You were fighting the undead, but it... I have the men of the highborn. I have to kill six tormented rangers. Uh, oh, you picked up an extra quest. And somehow okay. you're not on the first to fall. I am... I... I don't know what to say. Uh, this is what he offered me. He's not giving me a quest to turn in. There we go. Lord Thamar stands quiet for a moment. Alor Bendel Falalan Morin Amanor. The next memory. Forgive me, for many of our people it was when we realized death was coming for us. A memorial to her particular defender lies to the west. In the place of her home. The light there was no doubt attracted the light there has no doubt attracted some of the air's lingering souls. Clear them out and then re re relight the flame. Lament of the Highborn? Yes. Okay, you got a little ahead of me. That's what happened. Alright. All right, there you are. It still lags, but it seems like if I hold the camera and keep holding it while I'm turning it, um, the lag goes away. I don't like, I got I'm everything but Discord and the recording program turned off. So I don't know why it slags. It seems to only do it when I'm recording. Or at least more often when I'm recording. There, okay. I don't have a target. Ten years. I have faithfully brushed Yak for ten years. Has it been ten years since uh I don't think Pet so. Pet Pandaria. Okay, we want the Tormented Rangers. I need a target. Oh, uh, Ooker Dukers come to visit. <laughs> I did forget I had that trinket. <laughs> Yes, I forget that all the time. Online. Yeah, I'm trying to get her for for Legion before I send her to Shadowlands. So. I need to target something first. I do feel very badly for them. Yeah. Well, that's a plaque, but we can read it after we finish this part.
by the light of the sun, failing children of the blood. They are breaking through, O oh, children of the blood, by the light of the sun. Ignition. Sylvanus Windrunner was our kingdom's protector. Had she and her rangers not met Arthas with such fierce resistance, our people might no longer exist. She paid the ultimate price so that enough of us might escape to rebuild our fallen kingdom. When Arthas raised her as a banshee and turned her against Gwelthalas, it broke all our hearts. I've had my share of disagreements with Sylvanas, but I will never forget her sacrifice. She was the Ranger General of Silvermoon. Nothing will ever change the truth. Maladash, Malanor. Sylvanas and the Frustrators sacrifice far more than most of us. Sometimes I must remind myself of that fact, given the current state of affairs. The Ranger General fell just east of Fairbreeze Village, where she was holding the line to protect the civilians as they retreated to Silvermoon. If it wasn't for her, our people would number even less than we do now. Shine the lantern upon the battlefield, and witness how her forces ultimately broke under Arthas' personal assault. And this... Swain was asleep during all this, and so were all the demon hunters. I'm on the other side waiting for you. Okay. I was lagging a bit. <laughs> there we go. Okay. What happened? I'm just stirring something in my bed. Oh, okay, because it felt like it knocked up against your mic. I'm sorry. Nope, it was a um, fork. Okay. <laughs> okay. I ran into a tree. Oh, I got some mail from the auction house. Okay. Oh, I didn't know this is where Savannah fell. Is this right in front of the city? It's in the middle of the dead scar, but it's where all the anger shades are. Yeah, hang on a minute. You there, Fast Rider, Man of Alista. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Oh, uh, Silvermoon Ballista. I am not close enough. Jeez. 
She calls you a first trader and has you mana ballista, yeah. I can't move, but at least I'm killing things. Yep. Oh, cutscene? Oh. I do like these watercolor cutscenes. Oh, me too. Baby. But that scene has been done a lot already. Yeah, but... Tears turning to yeah, ash on her cheeks, cool. but still it is really cool. Proudly serve as region. Oh, I'm getting attacked. It <laughs> did. The beauty of Eversong. In the words of one of the more poetic retellings, as her defenders fell with anguish, she cried, "Sindu Falana, Sindori." She was a true, true ranger general until her last breath. A silver moon never forget her bravery in life. What I do? Oh. I'm level 52 and I'm getting attacked again. Congratulations. When our best defenders defeated in the line with our best defenders defeated and the line broken, Arthas made quick work of Silverman's remaining forces and tore through the city. This is where we part ways. I must return to Silverman before Haldoran starts sending rangers in search for me. The Dragon Hawk Master in Fairbury's village has orders to fly you to Quel'Donis. Someone much more familiar with the events on the island will meet you there. The light of the sun will be with you. <laughs> you find strength. I keep mispronouncing Quell as Kel. <laughs> well, that's how I want to say it too, Kel Thalos. Yeah. And not Quell Thalos. Yeah. We talked to Skymaster Bright on. I need a direct flight to Quelled on us. Farewell. Witness the end. The removal of the final barrier.
Oh. This is where the uh, raid in the dungeon is. Yes. So was this really their main city? And not Silvermane? I think, you know, Silvermane only became the capital after... After the Scourge went through. After the Sundering? Yeah. Okay, see, I think part of the reason I get confused is because Jaina and Arthas were friends. Yeah. Is Jaina 10,000 years old? No, uh, Arthas and Jaina, uh, the, the whole Scourge thing was not part of the Sunder. Oh, okay. What was the Sundering? Uh, that's when the demons came. Believe me. Yes. That's when there was the destruction of the, uh, um, the sun well. Yeah, that original well. Oh, here we go. Was that on this island? Uh, no, I don't think so. Because it okay. was the, um... The head demon hunter guy. I can't remember his name off the top of my head. You are not prepared? Yes. Yeah. Are you ready, Celine? Say la vie. While the monument here was intended to honor the fallen members of the Shattered Sun, it quickly took on a second meaning for the Sendorai. It was not far from here that we lost one of our greatest heroes, a Nastrian Sunstrider, the last king of Quell the Lost. He led our final effort against the Scourge and personally crossed blades with Arthas himself. As we remember the sacrifices it took to reclaim this land, we also remember the sacrifices made in its defense. Is there a plaque for this? Um, I see the little... Yeah, here's the lamp. But there doesn't seem to be a plaque. For thousands of years, the Sunwell meant everything to our people. Arthas dealt us a grievous wound when he defiled it. My faith was shattered when Silvermoon fell. I lost sight of who I was, but by the grace of the light, I found redemption before it was too late. Let this monument serve as a reminder of what it Let means to be Sindori, that our every deed may honor the sacrifices of those who came before us. No matter how much pain we endure, we will not lose hope. In the face of darkness, look always In the to the eternal darkness, sun. Look always to the eternal sun. I can hear uh, your audio coming in in bits and pieces. What a, oh, her talk? Yes. I am the blade of the light. Never forget the lives that were lost here, were both to the scourge and their own misguided kin. Remember the sun well. We ride in the battle with those words for a reason. We lost so much that day. I lost so much that day. Shine the lantern on the southern side of the island, where the dead scar, dead scar meets the sea. There you will see how the fall of the sun well began. And with it, the last act of the High Elves. Remain vigilant. Remain vigilant. I hear bro bro. <laughs> yep. I gotta go around. <laughs> oh yeah, we gotta go all the way to the most southern point. 
Ah. Okay. Should have gone the other way around. Well. <laughs> it's pretty much to look like the same either way. Oh, I lost you at some point. I am sorry? No. No, I'm still on. I'm still with you. Ah, uh, hi bro, I'm recording. Okay, I am in the place we're supposed to be, but... I don't see you. Well, I'm here. I'm right next to the lady. There we go. I'm gonna keep the light. Oh, we're faced. Okay, then. That is far enough, Prince Arthas. Your march ends here. Narala Bellore! You will burn for your actions! Oh, I'm wearing ghost armor. Oh, we gotta fight Blight Gut. Okay. I can fight Arthas. No, we fight bike flight gut. Oh, okay. Still fighting. I almost died, but I got him. You may have been formidable once, but I sense your soul fading. Your life force flickering weakly. A flame I will gladly extinguish. At least I have a soul, you despicable monster. Not for long. Okay. I gotta shift in my seat. <laughs> okay, we gotta go all the way back up the island to turn it in. Okay. I am eating the hill. Okay, I finished eating, so. Okay, so <clears throat> you wanna go left or right? Uh, I'm gonna head to the right. The um, light gut has come back, so I'm hauling. Oh. So I do not want to have to fight him again. Okay, I see you now. Okay. You want to just run like that? Yeah. Okay, and I and Bert Mystic Bird Hat is way back there. <laughs> I know. I I feel kind of bad for there should be an achievement for how many times you abandon them. <laughs> the troll lady on the the mammoth ones like this is bad juju or something like that. Yeah. Yes. Look at that mining node. Oh, I'm an inscriptionist, so I didn't see it. Yeah. Pretty flower, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
like I want to go get it. But it's a very low level. It's yeah. But there's nothing wrong with having more ore yeah. in your bank. We should have a group for the. My name is Tondra, and I'm a WoW hoarder. Yeah, we're all hoarders. <laughs> Not loot ninjas. We just don't throw stuff right. away. <laughs> right. <laughs> Let me like I have four banks, and they're all full. Yeah. One final task remains. The flame of the lantern dims. Your final task is to rekindle it. In order to do so, you must walk one remaining path. While we are fortunate to hold the sun well once again, we must always remember that it was yet another part of us that Earthus took away, and that our late prince was forced to find us a new way of life. Enter the Sunwell Plateau and witness its fall. Fight well. Fight well. Okay. Okay. Um, we gotta do the raid, but because it, it'll, we can do it as one person at least. Oh, so we won't be in there together? No. Okay. It's like, seriously, why is every character of mine slower than everybody else's characters? Some of your characters are faster than mine. Yeah, but you're way ahead of me. Well, I probably started running before you did. Also, maybe demon hunters are just faster? I think they are. Okay, discovered the sun well. Okay. Okay. Hold the line against the scourge. This is a high ranking magister. We must have been betrayed from within. I need to get closer. Hold the line here. We must not let those monsters reach the sun well. Where's a demon when you need one? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Death itself has come to claim the 
the high over the elves. Arthas slaughtered our remaining forces and used the Sunwell to resurrect Kel'Thuzad as a powerful lich, corrupting its waters beyond salvation. Our people would have soon suffered the same fate that we remain linked to its magic. With a heavy heart, Prince Kael'thas decided to destroy the Sunwell. Huh? The time has come. May the light of the sun guide us to the very end. Sound of cannons. The Amani have landed on the shore. We must hurry. Cut down enough undead for us to pass, and leave the rest for the trolls. That will buy us the time we need. The sun. What has he done? The soul of our people. Now a desecrated font of decay. It worsens with each sunrise. The Adrian, guard the entrance. Let none pass. We shall hold the line until the very end. So long as shall annoy. Hero, with me. Protect the Magisters at all costs. We must reach the Sunwell.
Now what? I'm standing here waiting to talk to Lady Leogden. Oh, did you finish it? Yeah. Okay, I'm still working on it. The ritual appears to be working. Magisters, maintain your focus. Oh. And so ends the most tragic saga in our people's history. Follow me, champion. It is time to return the lantern to Silver. Okay. Now taking the portal. Okay. Okay. So we go back in the building. Um. Yeah. I almost forgot what we were doing this before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that storyline was intense. Yeah. Always remember, my tragedy. That our people are not defined by tragedy, but by our ability to overcome. From the ashes of the past, we carry the flame of hope into the future. We have made many sacrifices. The Regent Lord takes the lantern from you. It is done. Sylvanian is my honor to present you with the regalia of our greatest heroes. Bilono Silaru, Bilore Dora. Rise, champion of the Sindora. Okay. Let's see what we got. There we go. Uh, that is the uh, Blood Elf Heritage Questline. And we got two versions of the outfit. One with a robe and then one with just a tunic. So you can see the pants and the boots. Excuse me. I really like the boots. Yeah. <laughs> I do love your little crown. <laughs> Okay, well, uh, thank you all for watching, and this is Brushfire Wind Dragon signing off.